Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey, we back with a, the same vlog. It's actually day three. Two. Two. But today we gonna... I mean, we was gonna do a vlog going downtown, doing all that. Uh, we went downtown, but... Let me move the mic over so y'all can hear Melissa, too. Yeah, we went downtown, but... It was just so crowded and you know we we in a truck we don't have a trailer but it was so crowded and we couldn't find nowhere to park so what we gonna do now is we as we was driving around and y'all know we'd have been state to state everywhere um we said a lot of homeless people don't care about homeless me the way i the way i was raised give back you know so what i feel like i want to do and it just hit us all at once. And we was both thinking about the same thing, man. We gonna go to Walmart, the Dollar Journal, one of them. Or both. Or both, you know, and make like bags to give out to the homeless. Yeah, we can't hit every one of them and give back to every one of them. But the one that look like they is really, really, really struggling, we gonna give back to them. Um, for example, the guy right here. That guy right there, man, he, I mean, yes, they, they ate, but how long have it been since they had their first meal? You know, hot meal. So that's what we feel like we want to do, just give back, bro. And we're going to take y'all on the ride with us, man. And, yeah, we're in, we in the San Antonio area right now. We should be in Oklahoma or New Mexico, New Mexico hopefully tomorrow. And we're just going to go all over, and we're going to start doing the give back, man. That's what the vlog's really gonna be wrapped around that. I can't forget about y'all with the GTA. I'm gonna still be on the GTA, man. Melissa, you got something you wanna say? So, if you have like a dollar or two dollars, you can 50 like. Cent. 50 cents. Yeah, you know. I mean, you know, there's a lot of people that sit on the corner and beg and beg and beg. But then you have the ones that they don't beg, they don't bother nobody, don't ask for, don't ask for anything, you know, and. A lot of people, they don't give back to the ones that don't sit there and beg and give, like, you know, I can see not wanting to do it, like, all the time, but if you have, if, like, once a month, twice a month, you know, have a dollar, two dollars, whatever, you know, just give back to the less unfortunate. So, we're going to head over here to Walmart, which is across the street, and then probably to the dollar store, and we'll get back with y'all. Look me in my eyes, don't tell no lies to keep your distance. I got a lot to say, so just listen. They was you all Y'all mind giving me y'all story or y'all don't like talking about it? I mean, um, I, don't like, I, don't, I don't like talking about it. You don't? I, don't, I, don't, I respect it that, bro. It doesn't matter to me. If you want to record it, you can. It's not so okay. Cool, uh, ain't really no story. Just, I moved here from Chicago. Uh -huh. I was never homeless. My dad took care of me. I wasn't on child support. He never called me a little nigga. He always called me son or Willie. Mm -hmm. Or Willie Phillips Jr. when I was in trouble. Mm -hmm. But I moved here to visit my family. Ended up staying. When I was 19, yeah. I'm 45 now, and uh, lived with my brother, lived there for a little bit, met this woman named Rebecca, worked with her for a little bit. Yeah. She was 23 when I met her. I don't know, I was 23, she was 26. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I had a kid or two with her, and then that, that happened. And then let me see, still working here and there. Ended up going to jail for some stupid stuff. Yeah. Which they found me not guilty for. Okay. And then, uh, you can't burglarize your own home. Yeah. You can't kidnap nobody if you don't hold them against their liberty or such. Right. Or so on and so on. You got to hold them like a knife point or right. restricting them. Long story short, they found me not guilty. Went through life a little bit longer. Went to jail for some other stupid shit. Way stupid. Yeah. For sexual assault. Which I didn't do because I was in their custody during that time. Right. I was in this, I was in this facility's custody 
during the accusation of the sexual assault at that time. At that time, right. where am I? And that six fucking ugly counts, ugly counts. Yeah. Count one, where am I at? Bear County. Count two, where am I at? Bear County. So it didn't Hold add on. up. Bear, yes, it, of course not. It's right. Not, it's not, no way you can add that up. Right. No way. Not even in, in the alien world, the aliens. You right. Can, retarded people will be like, he's stupid. Right. How can you, you think he, there's no way. I'm right. At each count, and every count, I was in the custody of Bear County Jail. Uh, during, before, and after. More than 120 days before, during, and after. Right. So long story short. Not eat. Not eat. I'm like, well, let's go to trial. You see my record, I'll reach beat y'all asses once. Uh huh. In the sense of the courtroom. So when you go in the courtroom, if you ain't right and ready, yeah. man, they're gonna fuck you. They're gonna get you. hurt you. They're gonna get you. They're gonna hurt one blow. You're gonna be like, oh. <laughs> you're gonna be like me and you fight. You fight right, up. right. Who knows? But most people are like, that nigga's gonna whip him. Right. Yeah, you're gonna think about going in the courtroom. They're gonna scare you with the size and look. Yep. Like, oh, that nah, intimidation, man. Right? Yeah. Right, right, right. Not me. Like, Let's <laughs> go. You beat me up. You beat me up. Yeah. But they did not. I was like, everything was so. I was like, I already know where I. I already know I wouldn't do that shit. I don't yeah. do that shit. I don't have yeah. to force anybody or do anything. And that's what they were saying. Indictment. They were saying like entry, penetration, all these ugly things, yeah. ugly sounding things. It's like. Well, where's the doctor's notes? Where's the doctor's this? Where's the, not the proof, but where's the, the line? The, yeah, I see whatever what you're saying. That you need and most of the time you get, mm. when, especially something like that. Long story short, they dismiss the case. They're like, oh, you don't want to go to trial? Of course you do. You would look ignorant to take that to trial. Mm. But they didn't take it to trial. They dismissed the case. They got over that and yeah. still living out here. And then. I'm out here and going through my thing. I end up having a fight with my brother and stuff like that. And just fuck it. We live right here down the street. Uh -huh. And I moved out. We moved door next door to the neighbor's house. Or well, not to his house, but to an RV. Lived there for a little bit. And then I started getting harassed by this cop named Officer Kano, who works at San Antonio Police Department, mm -hmm. who's a complete asshole because he does his job, but he, he doesn't do it. Just to serve and protect, you would expect that. Right. For most of these cops who is the only cop I've ever had a problem with uh -huh. and I've never been uh, jumpy with or anything like that but this guy is such an asshole that I'll be somewhere sleeping in a dark corner under the bridge behind the rock under the garbage can or vice versa uh -huh. and he'll come and find me and you gotta go we got they don't like you around here right who is they long story short once again I got to this point where I'm at I think because of him and whatever he's got going on Secretly or whatever, I don't know what it is. Yeah. I was in my RV once in the back. And he's like, "You're homeless." I'm like, "Am I standing in the, the doorway?" I'm like, I'm not homeless. I'm in, I had a house, my friend's house, my brother's friend's house. We lived at 3322. His name is Alvin Phillips. I'm Willie Phillips. Yeah. And he owns three houses and uh, janitorial service. I can applaud him. He's bowing. For right. Me. Right. Okay. He's doing a good job. Brother, the younger brother. And. Uh, He's never done drugs or drinks. Okay. Which is a good thing, but I do drugs and I drink. Okay. But it doesn't mean that that's the reason I'm out here. That's yeah, that, that's, that's nothing to judge you off right. of. And that's man. not the reason that he has what he has. Right. But I salute my brother, and I uh, hope he does well, continues to do well. Yeah. But I know he's wrapped up behind the one woman that got him fucked up. Like okay. stressing, got him stressed. He's making good money and everything, but he's stressing. Yeah. He's stressing, he's stressing, he's stressing. Okay. So, so if you don't mind us asking, how long have you been homeless? Oh shit. Somebody wanted a few. <laughs> I've been homeless for about a year and three months, maybe four months. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't, it had, they, they, that, that too, I was, like I said, I had my RV. They came, I had some tickets once, which were municipal tickets were like traffic tickets or not showing up for not cutting your yard or some bullshit. Yeah. So they ended up taking me to jail one day for that. And while I'm gone, within the hour I get out of jail, I come back, I come back to demolishing my fucking RV. Oh, and they man. shouldn't have been doing They shouldn't have done that. Right. They should not have done that. I mean, and they demolished the house. They had been telling me they were going to do, but they didn't give me a date that, what day they're going to do it. It was more of a, ah, we told you we were going to do it. Now, we didn't have to tell you what day we were going to do it. Right. We were going to do it. Now we do it. That's why we do what we do, man. To hear the stories, because the stories behind this stuff, man, is... It's mind blowing. Everybody got a story behind them. They doing good or bad, man. 
it's all up to y'all to just listen. Half of them just want somebody to listen to them, bro. So we gonna go to Walmart and get some little water snacks and stuff like that. And hey, somebody out there might got a story that would touch one of y'all. Like what he's saying, you know, he homeless. That's the lowest of the low you can go. And the police officer still messing with him. So, hey man, just, if you see him, give him a dollar. They respected that $5 so much. Bro, this is crazy, man. But we're going to catch y'all when we pulling in the Walmart. Man, we at Walmart, bro. About to go up in here and get some stuff. I'm gonna catch y'all. Um, Good. Look at Scooby Doo snacks or something. My feet? Oh, right? Yeah. Dog bones, really? <laughs> no. We'll get this. Because we're gonna, we gonna eat something with them. On to the next side. All right, y'all, we're just not leaving Walmart. Um, we got some stuff. We're going to go make the baggies and then get on our adventure. Oh. Come on. We got some waters and some snack stuff, you know. That way, it's a little mixture of stuff. Um, and then we're going to get their stories so we can let y'all know how people are. Got here to drop in Walmart, man. I just snapped on the dude, bro. Got me messed up, bro. Yeah, people don't know how to say excuse me or, or you know, slow down while slow people are walking in front of them or anything like that. But, all right, we'll catch y'all when we get these baggies made. Okay, y'all. Melissa made making the bags. She made this one, so I'll show it to you. But it got the fruit water just for the ones, you know, diabetic or whatever who need to, you know, keep their sugar level. Then we got the crackers. Then we got the plain chips and, you know, the Oreos. So, um, you know, just a little something to show them, okay, you know, somebody care. You know, we do see y'all. We, you know, we, we know y'all human. And, you know, I mean, everybody need it. But, um... People looking at me crazy, see? But yeah, uh, we about to go ride around looking for them. <laughs> that, that sound like we about to do a hit or something. But we about to go ride around, you know, see who we can find, man, try to get back and do our thing. So y'all stay tuned, man. And tomorrow, tomorrow we will be on our way to New Mexico. That gonna be a vlog right there. So we gotta pick a trail up tomorrow and Go to New Mexico, back to the oil field stuff. I'm also going to keep doing the gaming and, you know, more vlogs to come, y'all. So, y'all know what that means. Let's get it. Hey, guys. Um, now that we have the bags all together, um, we're out and we're looking for some homeless now. And we cannot find them nowhere, bro. Nowhere. But we're not giving up. We got 10 bags of the ones I showed you. We gonna find them. We can't give up on this video. We put too much time, money, energy, all that into this video, man. We gotta get this video done. We got to. Um, where the home people at? It's like when we were just riding around, we seen them everywhere. We don't see them way. no more. Uh, Turn around and go back the other way. So we're we're gonna be looking for them now. Um, some more. We've been riding about 20 minutes already. So now we're gonna go 20 minutes the opposite direction and see if we can find them. Um, yeah. So anything else, We'll get back with y'all whenever we find some. Hey man, what's up y'all? Hey, 
We tried, bro. For some reason, we could not find no homeless people. But we did succeed to, you know, um, make somebody day. So, as y'all seen, but we could not. The only ones we seen that was up under the bridge down by the Alamo. If you from Texas, you should know what the Alamo is. But them, they were so far off the highway, bro. We pulled over on the side of the highway. I ain't get it on video, but we pulled over on the side of the highway. And, yeah, I wasn't going to walk. It was about a mile walk. I wasn't going to walk a mile walk. Um, then I also called his name, and he looked at me funny. So I was like, maybe, you know. I don't know. You know, all homeless people, they ain't the type to always want something. You know, they feel like they got themselves in that position so they can get themselves out. But, yeah, you got anything you want to say? Nope. Um, we, still, we still do have the bags that we made. Yeah, we still and got we them. We are still going to try to find some people to give them to. You yeah. Know, to make their day, even if it's even, not day. Even if we got to make a part two to this in New Mexico when we going to tomorrow, we'll do that. You know, so uh, get out your nose. We still have all ten bags. Um, yeah, we still got all the bags. We didn't, we did not find nobody to give the bags to. It got dark outside, and yeah. you know, it's like we're what, not gonna just walk up to anybody nine. at dark. Yeah. Um, but we will finish this video off tomorrow, even if we see somebody at a red light, we'll give them it's a bag. A part two tomorrow. It's a part two tomorrow. This part one part two tomorrow um stay tuned y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button that like button comment where y'all want us to come to what do y'all want us to do for a video and we'll see y'all tomorrow let's make sure go you hit the bell. make sure you hit the bell